the beat, I was trying to be the case yeah, yeah. But I ain't beat that case, bitch, I did the race Beat it up, run up, nut, shorty face Beat Eli Blast, cracking foes like a Okay guys, so I was going back and looking at this video and I didn't do an intro, so sorry about that, but I'm just jumping right into my eyeshadow palette section. So right here we have my palette. I'm wearing a robe right now, so you can see like that kind of in my hand. This is kind of like a hair accessories box. If y'all black and you grew up, you know there was a box full of like barrettes and bobble thingies, so that is that. I've had this for like my whole life. Then I have a Z palette filled with some Makeup Geek blushes and contours, some Bahi blushes, and then I think these are either shop low yeah these are shop locale like gigantic highlighters so that's in a z palette right there then i have my morphe jaclyn hill palette my morphe 3502 then i just have some makeup forever palettes filled with other shadows so right here i always um like label them because i'm ocd this is inglot so this all has like inglot shadows and then the next one is kind of a mixture one because I actually just went through and organized these. This one has Makeup Forever. Ooh, can, are you guys even in focus? Probably not. But this one has Makeup Forever shadows, Bahi shadows, and Strobe Cosmetic shadows. So it's kind of like my etc. one. Up here are all Makeup Forever shadow, ooh, Makeup Forever shadows, another Makeup Forever shadow. And these two are from Bahi. And then the bottom row is all from Strobe Cosmetics. That is what is right there. And then I have the Sephora Pro Palette, which is right here. This is the warm one, which is all warm tones, duh. And then I have the Violet Voss, Violet Voss Holy Grail Shadow Palette. Again, warm tones. Shop Hush Inferno Palette, which is a dupe for the um, Naked Heat. Then I have these more Shop Hush Palettes. This one right here is Athena, which is a dupe for the Huda Beauty, the, whatever the fuck the new one is, Desert Dust, the purplish one. That's a dupe for this. Or this is a dupe for that. And then the Aphrodite palette is a dupe for the rose gold one. And they are so beautiful. I literally love those palettes so much. And then we have a blush tribe palette. This is the Egyptian Nights, or no, Egyptian Sunrise palette right here. Again, beautiful, oh, hey camera, hey. Another beautiful one right there. And then, and then we have the Honey Kissed Electric Relaxation palette or something like that. Honestly, I'm not a big fan. I love the shadows and the blendability, but this, just doesn't speak to me per se. So that's my only kind of thing with that. And then I have my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Duh, y'all already know what that is. Then I have the Too Faced Peachy Matte, which I really, really have been loving. Like I, that palette is so freaking cute. And then of course, ABH Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna have to go through that. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Ooh. ABH Mono Renaissance. I have the um, ColourPop Cute AF, or actually it's called the Yes Please palette. I don't know why it's called Cute AF in the packaging. Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. I actually really have been enjoying these, like these little mini ones. They're really, really nice. Oh my gosh, there's like no lighting over here. I'm like blocking all of the lighting. And then we have the Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna's palette right here. Super gorgeous. I'm waiting till the warm browns, whatever the fuck it's called, the brown one, comes back in stock at older.com because I'll be picking that one up. So now let's go up here. Oh, by the way, all of these, or not all of this, this organizer right here that I use, oh my gosh, can I get in focus? So this organizer right here, they're two separate ones, so let me like separate them. There is, this is an envelope holder. I think I got this, probably like TJ Maxx to me. And then this one is actually an eyeshadow palette holder from, ah, focus an eyeshadow palette holder from a company called By Allegory. They're on Amazon and such. Let me um, put you guys down a little bit so you can kind of see the full thing. It comes with little dividers like this that you can like literally take out and kind of adjust to your liking. So I kind of customize it to how my palettes fit and how I want my palettes to fit. So that's really nice. Again, I'll leave it linked down below. It's the By Allegory eyeshadow palette holder. And this is just a little separate one I got from like just a, I guess, office supply store or whatever. It's just a really cute one that's just nice. And now moving on to the top or or the upper shelf. So I was um, hiding my camera on a little tripod thing, but that's just not gonna work because it doesn't go up that far. So this right here, I really like having this on display. This is the Makeup for Melanin Girls Glitter Palette or um, Melanin Glitter or something, Melanin Glow. I don't really know what it's called, but it's just their glitter palette. I really, really have been enjoying it. I really, really like it. And then behind it, I have a little Blush Tribe Glitter Trio thing. They're pressed glitters. One second, let me open it. Boom, ooh, there we go. Cam, or not camera, <laughs> mirror right there. And it has really, really pretty colors, so there is that and this is the shade tinsel that's 
filled with the palettes called. Then I have another Z palette filled with pressed glitters, all from a company called Glamonizers. Yes, Glamonizers. Love that. And then I have my more colorful palette. So I have the Morphe 12P palette right here. Let me open it up. Oh, I'm actually thinking about selling this one since I have other colorful palettes, but I literally would only use this when I did colorful looks back in the day. But again, Morphe 12P palette. And then I have the Sephora Pro palette. This is the editorial version. And then I have the Certify um, Tropic One Tropical Wonders palette, which is again another colorful palette. And then this palette didn't fit down here like how I have the other ones. So I had to put it up here. And again, this is another little envelope holder thingy. Um, but yeah, this is the Colored Rain 96 shadow um z palette thingy let me open it up for you guys because i literally just did a video organizing this oh one second let's see the big reveal boom so on the top it's all matte shades bottom all shimmery foiled shades um i have only anastasia and makeup geek shadows in here because that's like the majority of my single shadows and i just really really have been loving this like this heavy oh I need to relax. I've been really loving that like heavy duty thingy. Thank God, like nothing. That, if that thing had shattered or fell, I literally would have killed myself, but it's okay because only this little dose of colors palette fell. And then over here, I have a spinning lipstick tower. I think, I think, let me see where it's from. Zara Beauty, that's what the top says. Um, I'll leave a link down below because I know they changed the name of their website, but I have Anastasia Bullet lipsticks in here, some Amon lipsticks. These are all like normal ass lipsticks, not liquid lipsticks that I, like I like. And then we have a whole like NYX section. So this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, some NYX Matte Lipsticks, some NYX Butter Glosses, and some NYX Intense Butter Glosses. And then this is like kind of like just the empty-ish etc section and this has milani lipsticks a mini kat von d liquid or mini kat von d lipstick and then the nars audacious lipstick 32 fucking dollars i don't even wear it it's in the shade audrey but yeah so that's that shelf right there i like to have it on the anastasia side because it looks really pretty like look at that oh yes then up here is kind of like my pretty ish shelf so i have on display of course oh i'm gonna focus this tom ford perfume no, perfume that my dad got me it is literally it smells so good it, is so good. it smells so good and it leaves me all shimmery and shit and i love wearing it in the summertime and i'm like on my decolletage or my decollete whatever the fuck it's called but that's just oh, so gorgeous i'm so happy my dad got this for me thank you federico and then right here i got something from nyx cosmetics in a pr package and it's just a really cute like makeup case so i decided to put it on display and then up here i have some honey kiss glitters again on display i do use them sometimes but i really like them like the look of them up here because it looks really really pretty and then again this is another thing from i got i got in pr from bahi though it actually held the lashes that they sent me but i really liked how it looked so i just put it on display and then i have the milk and vine book because i love vines like if you know me you know i fucking love vine and reference them every, every like 10 seconds so i have that book on display and then i have some antique things from my um grandma that passed away um they had stuff in our house and they were gonna get rid of them but i wanted to keep them so i kind of have them like right here it's like a little rose glass thingy and then a clock this clock doesn't even work but i just love the look of it and on the top i just have some like old nostalgic things like when i went to myrtle beach i have one from panama i have some like school awards and a volleyball award some soccer awards some things from panama when we went to paris and then my dad's like a thing i got from my dad retiring from the military and i used to really like um collecting glass figurines so i have those up there as well and then this wall right here is all anastasia pr packages um what i would do is like you know like the cute pr packages in the box and i have like the like little like this kind of thing like the art i would cut off just the art and like keep them that's what on that's what's on the bottom shelf at the like right there so i just kind of collected them and was waiting for a time to use them because i knew i'm going to put them up on my wall somewhere so when i cleared off this wall i was like let me put them up so here's some things from anastasia um i have like one from a pr package from the star strawberry lipstick launch from i think this is the liquid glow i think these are the liquid glows the aurora palette i have um some like quotes they had and then i have this i got from I think my friend got this for me from the woman of color or the, the woman's march on washington after trump got elected my friend got me that so i of course hung that up and then again nothing i got in a bahi pr package that was actually holding the lashes again along with this thing i thought this was really pretty I didn't want to throw it away so i hung up on my wall um so another bahi like um 
I think they have like little the little slips they give when like you buy something that was like this the Jackie Ina La Peach launch this is the flyer they kind of gave another thing from Amon that I got when I was working with them a thing from NARS that I got when I was working at Sephora that I just thought was stunning oh my god this picture is like everything to me and then the dose of colors and Katie collection the little flyer they got for this I actually wanted to keep it because like the like these are like my favorite kind of people and like my favorite things and they're all like mainly women of color and I'm just really really happy with this wall because I think it just looks really really gorgeous and really goes with my vibe so enough with this kind of etc section now moving on to the actual makeup part so I'm literally sitting on the ground but I'm gonna go up and then like kind of around so this bottom drawer right here is again like an etc drawer it kind of has just miscellaneous things that I just kind of throw in here hair dryer um straightener some old little gimmicky things that I used to buy when I was younger um I what I've been doing for my holding my brushes is I actually like empty out candle like like three wick candle thingies so I have one of those back there because I'm trying to be like more like recycle reuse that kind of shit and hair in here ew I have my nose piercing thingies I have some divider thingies that you'll see in the other drawers I used to use the PMD so I have that and then this is the artist couture box that I got from um last or in 2016 I actually bought like the set that had all of their like loose highlighters in a in a like a collection I guess like all of them but in mini version so I kept this box emptied it and then put like I have backups in here so I have hella NYC liquid liners hella urban decay um eyeshadow primer potions I have another one of the urban decay liquid liners in the shade bump another ColourPop pop pitch another Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton these are just all my favorites another Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 6.0 that I just got today from Marshalls for like seven bucks so get on that don't sleep on Marshalls some liquid liners that I got for like 100 point perks from Sephora another um House of Lashes lash glue Too Faced Born This Way a Honey Kiss six inch heels lip gloss and then just a fluff thing I guess so that's kind of all that's in there in this in this drawer nothing really like amazing I guess and the next drawer is super duper pretty so this drawer I have highlighter highlighters or loose highlighters and glitters so um this like this thing right here is actually like a drawer I used to hold my makeup in college but when I do a like college like storing makeup in college video I'll show you guys like where all that is from but let me go through this so glitters I have mainly or not mainly but I have NYX glitters some eye candy ones some certify these are lit cosmetic glitters these are strobe cosmetics and some violet boss ones down here then I have a lot of Inglot body sparkles some ones from a brand called opulence collection and then hella glam and gloss glitters and um ones from what's this brand called i forgot mermaid scales usa and these are really really pretty they're in like little vials oh, they're like kind of like on the side right here they're in little vials and also they like sent me the gold flakes as well which i'm really excited to use and then on this side we have the um loose highlighter so i have la bronze and la peach right here from jackie Ina. i have honey kiss highlighters i have one from um fuck what's this brand called i don't really know i hate when they don't sound like they only send the name and not the brand i think this is lane land maybe i'm not sure i have some honey kiss ones back here that i don't really use because they're more like holographic highlighters and i don't really not really in the holographic highlighters and then i have one from bahi and shaglo which is kind of something i like a color just i don't really use and then back here what i was talking about like the mini artist couture highlighters this is like the full size artist couture highlighters and these are the mini ones i got in that set on the back here again more holographic colorful ones because I'm just not really big into that and then down here kind of goes to the ones that are like my most favorite ones so like what's down here conceited or should, actually goes from lightest to darkest so lightest up here down to darkest all of my artist couture highlighters and then I have some ones from some brands this is from pink poison the shade spark um mtf cosmetics and tiara or make it for women of color their collab and then i have some other ones from posh medics cosmetics which i really 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 love if you guys watch my favorite highlighters of 2017 video you guys would see those featured because i love those so so much so that is this drawer right here and all of my dividers well not all of them actually but most of my dividers or at least the acrylic ones are from a company called vanity collections i they are an australian based brand so shipping is kind of like Ugh, but they're really really worth it and i really really love them you'll see in like my other drawers I use them a lot so let me get on to the other drawers Ugh. foundations concealers and powders so this drawer is lovely like I oh it's so fucking beautiful not even beautiful but like I just love like face complexion products so 
let's let's get into this so let me get up a little bit on my knees and let's get into it so i'm gonna start on this side so right here we've been laying come taint e dole my probably my holy grail foundation i have the fenty beauty one i have the cover fx one which i'm trying to use up that's why it's in the same little compartment as the nyx total control drops and then i have the iman luxury concealing foundation i forgot to say um so these are the i think this is the set four dividers from vandy collections and these ones are meant for like foundations and such but as you can see i like customize them to like miss a little slot right here so my like, powders would fit i just really really have been loving like the concept of these and you can get them for the alex 9 drawers or the alex 5 drawers oh i did forget to mention that these are two alex 5 drawers with a limnon limon I don't, i'm not sure how to pronounce it like a limon tabletop again i'll leave the um ikea link down below but yeah so this like you don't really need all of this like organization and shit but i'm very ocd and i'm gonna be using this like setup for a while so i want to get like the right things that'll fit in them and let's have like have it organized how i like because i'm really an organization freak and ocd but organization so anyways so back onto these foundations this i have two of the wet and wild ones i have the one in cocoa and the one in mocha which i have to mix sometimes to get the right shade i have the ellie girl pro concealer or not pro concealer pro foundation and toast as well as coffee when i'm a bit darker and then the elf foundation oil free foundation this is shade Coco, yeah, Coco. I just have an etc foundation that I need to try out. And then back here for powders, I have the Kat Bundy Locket Powder in Gold, which I'm trying to use up because I'm not really a big fan of it. I have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powders. They're just two in different shades. Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. You guys already know how I feel about that. I love it. As well as the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder, which again I love. This is the shade Golden. And I have the Amon Luxury. What's it called? Luxury Pressed Powder. I like this one more then the oil blotting powder so i'm trying to use this one up so i can have just that luxury one and then i have some more pressed powders this is the cover fx mineral press powder in this shade n100 and then i have the maybelline fit me powder in 340 cappuccino and i can only get that shade on amazon because they don't sell it in stores anymore and these are some more press or loose powders these are from a company called queen cosmetics which i really really have been enjoying um i hate how one of this is the shade caramel but this shade i guess came off or they didn't send with the shades so i have no, no idea what shade that is and over here i have my translucent powders so i have the fenty like blotting powder which is translucent and then i have the um two faced primed and poreless one as well as the two faced ethereal setting powder if you're gonna get a trans translucent powder definitely go for this one this one is the best translucent powder i have ever used super soft doesn't leave a white cast or flashback or anything i really really love that so moving down my concealers are kind of like jumbled a little bit but whatever like these two sections are for concealers i have two color pop ones in different shades the top one is deep golden 60 and the bottom one is tan 50 i just mix those two to get like the shade i want and then i just got this today the kevin naquan ethereal Etherealist? Oh, what's it fucking called? Oop. Natural concealer, whatever the fuck I want to know. I got the shade 06. I'm really excited to try that out. And then I have two short, short, tart shape tapes. And this one I'm trying to use up. That's why it's upside down because it like kind of tells me like, hey, you're almost empty with this one. And that's why I have a backup one right there. And these are like my drugstore-ish concealers. I have two wet and wild ones. One of them is a bit too light. One's a bit too dark. So I got both of them to make my right like shade. And then I have, ooh the nyx concealer in the shade 6.7 right here la girl pro concealer fawn no surprise as well as the maybelline fit me in 30 cafe and then onto like liquid highlighters i have kind of back here so these are the amon stick highlighters that i got right there and then the anastasia liquid glow liquid highlighters and i'll go around this way the la girl pro concealer in orange i don't really color correct much but i just have it on hand if i do want to color correct one day and then right here the cover fx custom or custom enhancer drops and this is the shade candlelight candlelight which is the gold one and i just got these today they do the new wet and wild hello halo liquid highlighters i have the shade um go with the glow and golden goddess so i'm really excited to try these out and the only cream contour product i have is my fenty beauty matchstick and espresso i love this shit like it's either hit or miss people with this shit and i'm someone that loves it so yeah boop uh just let's just take a minute like oh we highlighters okay so my mentality was kind of like separating them like 
this half is like more like kind of drugstore this half is more like high-end but anyways let's just get into them and again these dividers are from vanity collections um vanity collections i don't know if it's aus or vanity just vanity collections but again australian australian based brand on etsy or you can buy from their um their actual like website but i just kind of trust etsy, etsy more so yeah i buy them from there and they are just amazing so yeah anyways um fenty beauty trophy wife right here then i have the kilowatt one and me money and hustler baby i have hella ofra highlighters i have two inglot these are loose highlighters but i just have them up here because they're kind of bigger these are two inglot um sparkling dust face eye body illuminators these are just loose highlighters from inglot i have two becca shimmering skin perfectors i have topaz and i have a split pan with champagne pop and amaretto and then i have just a holographic highlighter that i don't really use that much and i have a um what's this brand lane land i think this is lane land cosmetics this is the shade oompa and I don't know why I, I just kind of like jumbled up, but I'm gonna go back down this way with the high end. I got this new Ciate um, highlighter, or it's what's it called? Glow 2. It's, it's like a Glow 2, some fancy ass name for a highlighter. I have the shade Starburst, and the sh darker shade is Celestial. These are really, really pretty. Colored Rain highlighter, and the shade Your Treat, a really pretty bronzy gold. I have a Dose of Color, Dose of Colors highlighter, and the shade Gold is New Black. I love how the name is like right on the front. That's really helpful. And then I have the Desi X Katie highlighters. I have both Fuego and Mirame because I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I just got both. And then now, now onto the more like drugstore slash low end side. Actually, this isn't really drugstore. This is the Pat McGrath. Um, what's it called? Fine Gold Pigment. It's like their little highlighter thing that was like 70 fucking bucks and I was just so excited to get it and I don't really use it. But that's just on this side because it doesn't really fit on that side. But anyways, the Milani Strobe Lights or yeah, Strobe Lights. I have Sun Glow as well as Glowing. So the two like darker shades I have. And then I have this Kiko Milano um, Wet and Dry Eyeshadow. I know like again in the og youtube days everyone would use this shade as a highlighter so i jumped on the bandwagon about 10 years fucking later and it is really really pretty i just barely really grabbed for it because i have other highlighters but this is the shade 208 and i really really do like it when i do use it let's get this bag here we go laura gala highlighter and gilded honey again it's just not on that side because it doesn't really fit I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. I'm honestly not a big fan of those, but I just have one in my collection just to say I have one. Honey Kiss Cosmetics Press Powder and Sugar Baby. I love that shade. And the po Pink Poison Cosmetics um, Pressed Highlighter in the shade Spark. Okay, to some more. So, just got this again today. Or not again, but I just got this today. And this is the Physician Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. I do plan on getting champagne as well, and I'm really, really excited that... Um, Physics and Formula is like expanding their shade range and like all their stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I have this Ulta Glitter Top Coat, which is actually super stunning as a highlighter um, for a more like glittery effect. I have a Blush Tribe. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a blush or a highlighter. Oh, it is a highlighter. Baked Highlighter in the shade Lagoon. Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in the shade Gold Addict, which I'm really, really sad it broke, as you can see right there. Devastating, but whatever. So that is my highlight drawer. Whoop. And now up here, this divider thingy is actually from, um, fuck, what's the company called? Ah, uh, I forgot. I'll leave it on the screen and leave it down below. If it comes to me, then I will say it. But they are actually made in the USA, so shipping is a bit faster. But it's really, really helpful because it just divides um, your Alex drawers into six instead of, like, kind of all of that. So I just kind of organize it by how I want and I feel like it's a bit more lenient so this is like my eye or eyebrow section I have clean cosmetics brow products and the Anastasia dip brown ebony right here as well as the Anastasia concealer I have the ColourPop brow gel the Ico brow gel NYX micro brow pencil NYX brow gels NYX build em up brow powder so that's gonna like all my brow stuff then I have more like eye things. So I have the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Too Faced Glitter Glue, and NYX Glitter Glue. And sometimes if I want a more, more like colorful look, I prime my eyes with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade Whiteout. And if I'm doing kind of a smoky eye, NYX Lid Lingerie, and this is the shade Checkmate. Yeah. 
And then another thing, if I want like a more smoky eye, this is the Ico Me and My Shadow Waterproof Shadow Liner. Then I also just, I just didn't know where to put this because I only have like a lip product section other than like my spinning lip towers. So this is my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Pitch, which I just put in here because it just, it just fits. Then I have my eyelash glues. I love the House of Lashes Lash Glue. This is like my holy grail. But I've been trying out the um, Kiss, Kiss, INV by Kiss. Yeah, INV by Kiss eyelash glue. It's super strong strong hold eyelash adhesive with a shade clear. I don't really have any problems with it, but I still love my House of Lashes more. Now for primers, I have the NYX Angel Veil, the Wet n Wild um, Face Base, the Milani Prime Shield, the um, um, Body Shop Tea Tree Mattifying Lotion, which is actually just like a mattifying primer. Why did you fall? Stop falling. Okay, and then the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. I like the mattifying lotion more if you're more oily skin, so I recommend that over this. Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I have a little sample that Pierre Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. Um, the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, the Holy Grail. The Too Faced Pe Primed and Peaches Primer. Bosha um, Pore Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Primer. And then the Fahi Cosmetics Reina, Reina? I'm not sure, Oily Skin Primer. Then in the back, I kind of have some et cetera things. I have like, this is, oh, can you guys see? Okay. In the back, I kind of have more et cetera things. This thing right here is actually like a loose, um, like a loose highlighter, but it has a brush on one end. And this is the Pat McGrath right there. This is the Pat McGrath, like the thing that, the balm stick thingy. And then I have the NYX right there is the nyx um multitasker mixing medium as well as the lid lingerie not lid lingerie the lid gloss thingy and then i have some um sephora collection jumbo eyeliners as well as some regular liners there's more in colorful colors and then to the side over here i have some ico more of the ico like shadow thingies and then i have some anastasia waterproof cream colors which are good bases and some blush tribe um gel eyeliner thingies Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Now moving on up here, I have all of my brushes. Um, oh, why don't you focus? Hello, there we go. All of my brushes. I got these little container thingies from TJ Maxx. The spinning thingy, this Lazy Susan, I think it's called, is from um, Amazon. I think it's a 12 inch one, but I have a 16 inch one at my college dorm. And then up here I have, oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever, guys. This is in um, another like candle candle holder thingy, but I emptied it out and then put brushes in it. Focus. And then we have a Tarte Lash Curler because I'm bougie. This is another spinning lipstick tower thingy, but I put mostly like eyeliners or glitter liners in there. And the sides have like little compartments to hold things, which is really, really helpful. Um, and the bottom also has like a compact holder thingy, so you can hold like compacts in here. So if you're more into like a like multi-use kind of lipstick holder or lipstick tower, I definitely recommend this one. Again, link down below. Got some Smashbox liquid lipstick, some color, some minis that I have, and then Too Faced um, glitter shadows, not glitter shadows, liquid glitter liners. That's what I'm trying to say. Urban Decay liquid liners, and then some NYX pigments. And up here I have my my mirror. Hey, and. My mirror is separate from the like tabletop and the dressers. It is from Vanity Girl Hollywood. Yeah, and this is what it looks like. I know half the bulbs are like dead, but I'm honestly going back to school very soon, so I don't really care for like refilling them or like making them look cute and whatever and like putting all of them in. So I don't really care, but anyways, on here I have the Veramona Color Switch Duo, which is oh my god, why is like my lighting not working with me? The Veramona Color Switch Duo is so hard I have the Veramona color switch duo right here which I use to like clean my brushes in between use and I have this actually is what the little tart curler came in but I just kind of cut it and put some mini travel sprays in here as well as my tweezers because ow I don't really like full-size perfumes. I feel like they're much of a commitment, so I like travel size ones. Another um, empty candle jar thingy that I put my beauty blenders in, and then a little mini mirror, just that I use for mini things, or whatever. <laughs> and right here I have two liquid, or they're actually considered lip gloss towers, but I use them to hold liquid lipsticks because they are deeper than like this lipstick tower thingy. So this one is more for lip glosses right here. Ooh, let me get eye level 
This one is more for lip glosses. This is more for liquid lipsticks. And they also come with like these little tray things that you actually, if you were to like turn the tray like that, it would like fit on top, but I decided to kind of like put them up because I feel like it looks cuter with like the little ridges and stuff. But another brush holder thingy in a candle jar. And I just have lip glosses in here. I really don't feel like going over all of them. Anastasia, Marc Jacobs, Jouer, Honey Kissed, um, Sephora Collection, NYX. Oh, this like light bulb. I'm gonna turn this lights off. Hopefully that'll help. Woo. Um, some Ulta, some ColourPop, and just kind of like just lip glosses in here. But this one area is for like colorful lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. So that's like that section. But other than that, it's just all lip glosses. And again, I'll leave the link to the place I got it from down below. I think this was Zara Beauty along with the other one, but I'm not really sure. I'll leave the link down below. Then right here on my liquid lipsticks. Oh, hey, my bed. All right here on my liquid lipsticks. Ooh, I can get, I can turn the light back on to get a bit more light. On my liquid lipsticks, I have a whole side for like Anastasia, some Honey Kiss, some um, Glow by Glory, some Lumi Cosmetics, Dose of Colors. Um, I forgot what this brand is called. Coco Lux, Nars, Kat Von D, Morphe. I feel like my quality is so shitty right now. Nyx, Ofra, um, ColourPop. Beauty Beauty, Lime Crime, and Tarte. So that's kind of like all of my liquid lipsticks. And on top of this one, I actually have all of my setting sprays that I use as well as alcohol and eye drops just in case, just in case what? Just in, for this for like cleaning off makeup and this for like if my eyes start to irritate me, but I have the Makeup Revolution setting spray. I have the Mario Badescu Lavender and Rosewater um, like refresher sprays, the Bahi Dewy Skin Mist, the Glam Glow setting spray, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, and Milani. So now let's go into these drawers. So now diving into this first drawer on my second unit of Alex drawers. Back there we have um, some LA Girl Pro Concealers in like this little holder, some eye pencil sharpeners, and an Amand, Amand, an Amand like shadow stick thingy as well as a mascara. And right here we have some like eyeliners per se so i have an icon one a buxom one nars one my favorites are the sephora jumbo liners i have the nyc liquid liner i should actually put that right there because that's a liquid and then the ColourPop um pencil liner thingies the ico like felt tip liners and the stila felt tip liner and then kind of separating the liners from the mascaras are the is the um inglot number 77 amc gel liner and i only have like four mascaras the benefit they're real some ico ones and then the urban decay perversion and i only put these um glitter shadows or glitter liners up here because this bottom area right here was full these are the ulta collection glitter tears eyeliners which are really really pretty i feel like no one really talks about ulta collection but they actually kind of bop sometimes um now down here are more of my colorful liners so i have all of these urban decay razor sharp shadows these nyx glam Lux liners so, and just one nyx vivid brights liners because i actually hate the vivid brights line i have a tarte um kind of dual ended glitter liner thingy some nyx glitter liners as well as like regular kind of like shiny liners an ulta collection liquid eyeliner and an inglot liquid liner so that is that drawer kind of just liners and mascaras and on to the next drawer which is kind of my most overwhelming drawer i would say so we have a lot going on here so <laughs> um down here are all inglot pigments i don't know what happened this year or 2017 but i was obsessed with inglot pigments and i still am because they are freaking gorgeous i have some of their loose um matte pigments as well but just inglot pigments are so stunning i would highly 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 recommend them as well as the dose of colors pigments and i have some makeup geek up here and some nyx glitters right here and i have hella of the stila glitter and glow liquid shadows you guys know i'm obsessed with those and i just got these new color pop super nova shadows which are again liquid shadows some lime crime what are these called i don't even know what these are called these are their liquid shadows diamond dew these are the lime crime diamond dew liquid shadows which are kind of like dupes for the stila ones but still like the same price almost got some urban decay liquid shadows and then these touch and soul kind of dual ended like one side is like a glitter kind of like reflect thing and the other side is more of like a shimmery sheen liquid form but those are really really interesting and unique i have some eye can or um what are these called la colors la colors glitters that didn't fit in my glitter drawer i have a kat von d loose shadow that i've had for years and you get rid of that because i don't even use it and then i have some butter london glazing eye glosses so 
that is all that drawer not really actually it's kind of pretty interesting because i have so much liquid shadow and pigments but yeah there's that drawer now on to my last drawer which again is a little bit hectic so i can't really see what's going on here so right here this is like this kind of a like whole row up into these ones are all from the lash firm these are from a company called Federella. i have some v lux by i envy some dodo some um bahi and some morphe and some i lure i just have them mixed together but what i do is like if they have a clear thingy like this as you can see like this name right here d105 i just write the name on the packaging so i don't have to keep like that whole bulky packaging thing the circle ones are from blush tribe and certify and then i have some no name ones from a company i got at, during a makeup show um i have the ones from the halloween collection at walmart some forever 21 ones that i just bought for no reason some icona lashes backups in the back and then right here are ones from icona lashes as well i just bought some today from pure cosmetics right here this is the style diva really excited to try those out and then one of my favorite brands otaku cosmetics lashes their lashes are super duper stunning and then um lashed in luxury which i really don't use i'm not really a big fan of the lash styles they have but Nothing really big here, just lashes that I used. I feel like I kind of go for like the same kind of styles, I guess. It's very wispy and long, so nothing really fancy there, I would say. And this drawer is like, oh, I love this drawer. Like, look how, look at how fucking pretty that looks. Okay, these are like my blushes and like kind of kit thingies. So start at the bottom right here. Again, dividers, Vandy collections, the, um, blush, Amon. I have a Becca one right here, and then two Amon or two Milani big blushes. I have some Milani rose ones, as well as another Amon one, the Anastasia blush trios, which I absolutely in love with. This kind of my mm, tiny ass contour section. I have this NYX three steps to sculpt contour kit and my Black Radiance two complexion contour kit. Those are the only two things I use to contour because I really don't contour that much, but. Um, certified the fine and shine duo which has a highlighter and a contour in it the sleek highlighter kit thingy as well as the um, bad habit beauty oasis highlighter kit then I have my Anastasia kits back here I have the Anastasia blush kit and radiant the sugar glow kit the ultimate glow kit the Nicole Guerrero glow kit a Wong cosmetics um, highlighter kit the and then these are like more holographic ones this is the Kat Von D alchemist palette and the Anastasia Aurora palette and this is a blush kit from um, Wong cosmetics that I just don't really reach for so it's kind of like in the back right there so that is my little like kind of palettes and blushes drawer but i just really love how it looks again with these um dividers from bandy collection and last and i will say the least this is my like again etc drawer i keep my receipts in here and old packaging in case i just bought something and i don't know if i'm gonna like it so i keep my packaging always i keep my packaging i keep my receipts always so i can always return it and no one can ever like check me because bitch i got the receipt and i got the packaging so i'm good and i have um i bought these from lady moss beauty they're like just divider not dividers they're like i guess acrylic containers i just have some of those that i'm not really using right now but i still want to have them because i may need them sometime and i have an extra make it forever you can see make it forever um empty palette just in case i like get more single shadows and then i have these eyelash holder thingies in case i go traveling and need to bring eyelashes so that's literally all this drawer is just receipts and organization not organization because it's not organized but kind of just receipts and like receipts i guess and just yeah organization kind of so that is that last drawer all right guys that is it for my makeup collection video i hope you guys really really enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below because why not i guess and i just hope you guys really like found something helpful like my organization or how kind of like i set things up by um i kind of organize it by brand and by shade and things like that so hope you guys found it really really helpful i will leave the links down below again because i know that's really helpful for you guys but other than that i'm going to say goodbye and hope you guys really enjoyed the video bye peace